Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, so how that went. So overall, um, what did you guys think? Yay, nay. Yay. 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 Again, you're not going to offend me because this is you guys. You guys say whatever you want. Um, so uh, let me first say, did that seem like a hostile environment or not a hostile environment? Yeah, pretty chill, right? Pretty chill. So I think most of the time when we when we think about, so a lot of us are nervous talking to the media, right? I mean, just, it's like it's it's like scary, right? And like, oh my gosh, I'm going to say something wrong, especially especially something live, right? Because you can't edit it, right? So I, I, uh, I won't name names, but uh, uh, it's very common that when you hear someone like on the television or radio, or whatever, right? They're like, somebody asks a question, and they're like, brilliant, like, ah, oh, dang, like that was awesome. Like I wish I could have thought of that, right? A lot of times those folks are brilliant, but they're not always brilliant, right? That's what's called editing. And so many times I've been doing interviews, and um, the other person will just like a record, not 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 a lie. So something that's being recorded and then going to be put together later. And some will start talking, they're like, nope, don't like that, just stop. No. And then start answering like for straight from the beginning, right? Because they, they know that they can, um, well, they'll edit that part out, right? And so, so sometimes it's, um, it, it gives us a false sense that everybody is always the most articulate and eloquent person ever, right? Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, uh, okay, so overall, it seemed like a, a friendly, friendly environment, right? Um, what, what else? So, so, did I make it a friendly environment, or did they make it a friendly environment, or both? I think it was a friendly environment. Right. right. When he right. said the whale like sticker thing, I was right. like, mm, it was like a little like right, right, mentally like yeah. setting you up for like something negative. Sure, but then sure, you made it, sure. You made it like positive. Sure. So, so. Um, uh, I mean, those, those guys aren't were trying to do any kind of zinger. They're yeah. not nothing like that, right? But but um, but it's it's how you. It, so all these things we're talking about, right? We're trying to get to a more sustainable place, right? We're trying to get to a better place in terms of our our, our justice, our sustainability, all these things, right? And so sometimes people like to get into conflict, right? But conflict isn't always the best way to to get stuff together, and so a lot of times it's better to be more, you know, have humility and like, ah, ha, 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 right, and kind of go with that as opposed to sort of, you know, headbutting kind of thing. Okay, good, what else? What else did you guys think, like sort of broad strokes, like big picture? The, uh, your, like, number drops and stuff, like, like, 91% wetlands, and, like, your, you said, like, there's no free, like, like, there's always, like, outside, that was, like, good. Okay, so, so what were those, what were those? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you remember what we just talked about the AM radio thing Monday morning. But but, um, but but the things that sound most the most memorable, let's say it that way, you thought the ninety one percent of the wetlands lost and the no free lunch. Were there other things that you guys thought that were effective? I think it was powerful to kind of say like in terms of the projects, like it has to be a part of the future, um, to have like a strong stance and it is memorable I think for mm -hmm. people. Yeah, I mean, so, so sometimes the tendency for um, for advocates is to like attack everything. No, 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 no. Like, and, and I don't know if that's the most effective uh, way to engage with folks. Okay, cool. Other other memorable things or other things that were um, just an idea. Please be a little polite to the person you're talking to because I don't think calling a person old is very oh, yes. polite. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know how old. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna like do like an interview like, "Hey, you're old." No. Yeah. Right. He brought up the books and the oldness for yeah. right. Yeah. Right. He was right. But it's true. But it's true. Right. You, you do have to be. Yeah. It is. He was true. Self to make light. Yeah, yeah. To make light, there's, there's, there are pitfalls everywhere. Right. It's, it's, you're right. You're correct. But, but you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, you know where to attack, uh, or not attack, or pick, pick and choose where to. No, no, it's all right. Pick and choose where to um, 
how to plan how you're how you're trying to convey your message, right? And so a lot of times they're kind of like, erty, 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 old guy, fat old bald guy, you know, like that kind of stuff <laughs> is is easier, right? Than um, you know, young homeless mom, you know, like, I don't want to attack that, right? I'll, 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 I'll be the, like, fat old, I'll play on the old kind of thing. Um, yeah, although, I, although I'd say, like, from the first time, I would behave the same way. But yes, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Um, I also thought it was really positive when he asked you how you think we're, we're doing like, as a county, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think and I think that's right. And there, there are times to be negative, right? When, right. when the wildfire is bearing down on us, and we're like, yeah, well, we haven't dealt with this vegetation, right? And and, and it, there's time for that, but but um, you're right in that we have to be very careful, especially for audiences that are sort of primed to sort of reject the discussion of stuff, right? And even not not even those, but everybody. Like, why does everything? I I I, I did not. Maybe I said something wrong, you guys can tell me. But I didn't, lie, that, I, nothing I said there that I disagree with or, 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 or fake, right? I do think it's really awesome that we've not had these rolling blackouts, right? And it's, it's so easy to forget that, but jump back two and a half weeks ago when people are like, yeah, so um, maybe it's not gonna be any power tonight, right? And please turn off your air conditioner, right? And people are like, damn, okay, cool, we'll do that, mm -hmm. right? That's freaking awesome. I mean, that's really cool, right? That wasn't headline news by and large, right? Um, but yeah, similarly, but similarly, like the, the the drought stuff, right? I mean, are we using too much water still? Of course. Should we do more to reduce our water consumption? Totally. But compared to what we started off with, it, like last year, oh my God, there's really successful by and large, right? And still, the billionaires and West Hills and whatever are watering their lawns, but. But by and large, most folks are like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna do this, right? And we, I don't know why we don't always celebrate those things as much as we should. Um, but, but yeah, I think it's important for us to, to never always be the negative, 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 negative uh, folks. Good, what else? What are other themes that came out or things you thought about? Right, how like nothing is perfect, like there's always gonna be trade-offs. Mm -hmm. like the decentralization where even though there's brine and it's a lot of energy, yeah. so good preparing for the future. So, other ideas or other, other things came up? You talked a little bit about like Marsh, mm -hmm. but didn't, like you only said like a few things of like desalinization and all that stuff, so, but next time or whenever, you could have gone more like a little bit more in depth about it, about why it is important to protect the marshes. Yeah. Sure. Totally. I think maybe because you're like mentioned like oh there's like really productive like biomass stuff like maybe like including something like economic like, to buy it because mm -hmm. you mentioned like money mm -hmm. people are like oh yeah, yeah. definitely mm -hmm. you know yeah totally totally good like, from my point of view I was like oh yeah the birds the fish that's yeah. great but then like yeah. other yeah most communities totally. like, especially because he was asking like why should I care yeah and you're like well this is why I care because you know good. the environment like how what we're taught to care about but what he's taught to care about is like. Will this impact my taxes? Yeah. Will this impact like yeah. you know, my money? So because that makes sense because when you talked about like the garbage that's gonna be out there, I think maybe like yeah. Yeah. Take that a little bit deeper because I'm like what do we do? Oh, I can protect this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like starting off with that first, like when he if he says like why should I care, like immediately going like here's why you should care, plus here's you know here's what's been happening to it instead mm -hmm. like I think you started with like oh well you know all of these salt marshes have been destroyed right. blah 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 and also this is why we should keep it right so so good so the thing a uh, theme that's coming up with that, that I'm hearing here is um, so how much uh, and there's no right answer there's different ways to do it right but but it's definitely something to think about when you guys talk to folks, and this could be like an interview for a job or whatever, right? So one is, 
Uh, and this, this is a classic politician thing, right? Which is, hey, what's your opinion on the death penalty? Wow, we have a lot of poor folks that are on death row. We need better policies to deal with poverty. And all of a sudden, the question ceases to become about the <laughs> thing that the person asked about. And it's talking about what, what the responder wants to talk about, right? And, and so I, I definitely did a little bit. That's what you had to talk about, right? He's like, why should I care? I'm like, dude, let me, let me school you on wetlands, dude. And that wasn't exactly what he was asking about, right? Mm -hmm. And in some contexts, if it's a banter type of thing like we had, maybe it doesn't matter that much, right? But if that was a, like an investigative reporter or something and was asking, hey, so why should I care? Um, and I, I didn't exactly say why we should care, that reporter's gonna go, okay, thanks. Anyway, why should we care? Like, like they're gonna go like, no, this is what I want to know. You need to answer this for me. Um, and so, so there's, yeah, so, so there, there's, there's ways to respond exactly and, and not the other. And I would say it's also, it's also different when it's live like that, right? So if, if like in a regular interview, someone might ask me a question, I might, okay, let me think for you know, 15, 30 seconds. Okay, but that obviously doesn't work in that kind of uh, format. Good, what else? Uh, how, 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 what could I have done better? Um, I felt like maybe a little bit of context on the front end um, as far as like why wetlands are important mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. just our communities. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I feel like a lot of the time uh, people that are like in our industry or you know, whatever, that we're like so far down the rabbit hole, we've been focusing right. on environmental totally. issues for so long that so some long. complicated, you know, concepts might seem like commonplace knowledge to us, but totally like our brains are up with these totally. So totally. maybe just like saying these are the reasons why it's important for everyone. And, you know, here's a few that are in the area, etc. And then go down the rabbit hole. Like, yeah, I was I was uh, having. Um, I was visiting with some friends that I hadn't seen in a while uh, this weekend, and uh, we were just talking about all these crazy people that involve a lot of coastal management um, things, people that work for energy companies and stuff. And we were like just uh, having a libation or two and talking about things that went well and what didn't, the things that didn't go well. And my wife was with us. And people were saying, this, one of my colleagues was saying something like, blah, blah, blah. and then like, you know, we had the DO problem, and now we'll get, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, yeah, that's dissolved oxygen. And, and a lot of times my wife was like, yeah, I know, but some of the things she was like, oh, okay, thanks, right? Because sometimes we just get into our into our jam, and we forget that we have to contextualize stuff for the non-experts. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like easily digestible language. Yeah. Like you did yeah. a pretty good job, but yeah. yeah like just translate it to plain English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I know, you, so, said, you said mitigation, and then you were like, how do yeah. you make things better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good. Yeah. 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 And I would say, I would, yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's, and so, um, you know, as you guys go to do your capstone and, and other things, and as you, as you finish, all the stuff we're doing, most of the stuff we're doing is technical things, right? It's our research, you're applying for this job interview, you know, da da da, da. And generally speaking, um, people, that we're interacting with probably have some vague idea about what, like you probably don't have to define what a wetland is probably, but wetland mitigation, always a good idea to just little half sentence, parenthetical definition of something like blah, 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 blah. And then everybody's up to speed, right? Um, it can come off as very arrogance yeah. when someone is like, well, so I took the, the ArcGIS datum and then I transformed it and, and you know, people that are in the world can keep up, but. But when you guys are doing interviews, when you guys are trying to get a job, that kind of stuff, better to make sure we're all on the same page with that with that concept or that term. Not that you need to spend an hour defining stuff, right? But but just sort of, yeah, yeah this is all good. Um, and so uh, I, I think a, a great one for almost all of the stuff that we do in this class, coastal, right? Coastal. People have different ideas about that, right? Some people think that's the ocean. Some people think of the house on the beach. And so like, if, if you were gonna talk to somebody, I would, you know, let me, coastal, let me define how we're talking about coastal, which is a great example. That's, a, that's an example where even the experts might have different definitions as we go through stuff. Um, okay, then the, last, then the last thing I'll say about that is just, um, so we're interested in this class, in this major, we're interested in affecting change, right? We're interested in making things a bit better, yeah? 
Maybe we do that with education, maybe we do that with the consulting world, maybe we're gonna do that with some government job, but we're all trying to, we're interested in moving the ball forward. Um, I would say that oftentimes folks that are down in the weeds of our technical discipline, so maybe you all go work for the GIS department of the county, right? Or maybe you all go work for whatever, some water treatment plant, right? Um, there's a tension, a natural tension between doing what we just did, between between interacting with reporters and, and sort of the pu public kind of interface like that, versus the technocrat, versus the the folks in the in the realm of whatever the discipline is that we're doing, right? And um, to make effective change, we have to engage with the public, right? In some way, shape, or form. Right? Maybe that's a report that we write to the county or something. Um, maybe it's talking to reporters. Maybe it's doing a public information day or, or giving a presentation to county supervisors or you know, something. Um, it is, I've, I've often found it the case that the folks that are pure, pure technocrats don't like that kind of stuff that we just, that we just did. Um, they that they, let's see how I say this. So, um, so there's being engaging and, and welcoming everybody into the conversation, which by definition has to be a little bit more general, right? Let me tell you about the coast. Let me tell you about the south, right? Whereas some of the more technical people might be more like, how did, you know, what the hell, dude? You didn't talk about the cost of the south. You didn't talk about the actual amount of brine that's, you know, like that kind of thing. And, and so the classic one that I, I did an interview a few years ago about somebody I will not just name, but another, another faculty member at the university here. Um, and it was about, um, there was a volcano going off in Hawaii, the big island. And it was, it was a big, big event and it's creating a lot of fog, which is volcanic fog, right? And so somebody was asking, so some reporter here wanted to talk. Does anybody know about where? Okay, I can talk about. So I was talking about the overall pollution aspect and this and that. And it was about, as in classic, classic reporter fashion, it was a TV reporter. It was about 15 minutes of questions. And then the very last question, the very last question was, hey, so can like an eruption happen here, like in downtown Santa Barbara or downtown Ventura? And I was like, yeah, no, uh -uh, not going to happen. And people do not need to worry about a volcano erupting in State Street, right? And I was like, like we don't have those. We don't have those kind of volcanoes here. It's like, no, it's not like that. And I was like, okay. And of course, that was that like almost word for word what I said, direct quote. Other things are like, blah blah blah, blah. and they give like you know like a thirty second answer, and they use like five seconds of it, right? But this was like this whole thing. I got an email from this other professor that said, how dare you uh, falsely represent uh, the science? And we have volcanoes in California. There are active volcanic fields up in the uh, Sierras and, and, and places, right? And I was like, yeah, dude, but it ain't gonna be no lava flowing down State Street. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of how I said it, I'm like, oh, we don't have, we're gonna have those kind of, uh, uh, those kind of volcanic structures here. Technically, I guess, you know, I was, I was wrong in the sense that yes, we do. But the spirit was, hey, don't freak out about this, right? But, but those folks in the technical world sometimes get really, really, mm, you know, like, tight. And so my response was, dude, this wasn't a journal paper. This was like the local six o'clock news, right? Like, what? And uh, anyway, long story short, there was, a, there was a debate that went on between us. And, and, um, and so, so I would hope that in your career, as you guys go forward, you, you err more in terms of, let me, let me engage with the public rather than like pull back and always be super, I want you guys to always say the truth, and I'm not saying that, but, but, but the benefit from maybe not being exactly precise with a bunch of things, but yet educating a gazillion million people is way better, I would argue, than having the exact technically perfectly worded thing that 10 people in the world read, right? It's just, it's just like, um, but our culture, our, our scientific, our technical culture really pushes us away from the public engagement 
into those very those very circumscribed uh, domains. Okay. Anything else to wrap up? Anything else we you guys think we could have done better, or or, or alternative? You know, another another idea that we that I could have taken or attacked or anything. For the, when you were talking about the grant, um, yeah, yeah, you switched from one metaphor to the other, and it got kind of Ooh, hard okay, to good. Uh, follow. So yeah, I, I didn't think we were going to talk about the grant. I wasn't really yeah, the first <laughs> prepared to talk about, about that, but so, yeah, that, that yeah, was so good. Yeah, you started out talking about wetlands, and then you switched to beaches, and I think, because you've explained it to me before, I think the wetland conversation is more relevant and makes more sense, because... People, I think, clearly understand you cannot replace a beach, but people definitely think that you can replace a wetland, and you can't. So Good. I think you should stick to Good. the metaphor about that. Be able to replace or not replace a wetland. Good. Good. Others? Okay. Well, great. That was good, you guys.